Hey there. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Today, I want to talk to you about a concept that I think is, is has changed. Most of you have heard the concept that you're at a point A, some point A, and that you're going to go to some better point B. And so we often draw this up as, you know, a straight line between point A and point B. So I want to talk to you about a concept that I learned about business, about life, but I learned it from golf and a friend of mine. I have a friend who played on the women's golf team at the University of Arizona. She was a very accomplished golfer, and she eventually went on to have a, a, a super successful marketing career. We were chatting about some things, and she was asking me some questions, and we got it, and, and she sent me a book. She sent me a book by, by a friend of hers. She played golf at the University of Arizona with a woman named Susie Myers, who was a very accomplished golf professional and who played on the LPGA Tour a little bit and then became a teaching professional, which is now they're calling them coaches. And essentially, a golf professional would work with you on your golf game to get you from point A to point B. So whatever that is for you, that might be if you're a, if you're a professional, that might be you know figuring out how to make your putting better. If you're a regular golfer like the rest of us, it might be just shaving a few strokes off your game. So, but the concept in the book, the book she wrote is called Golf from Point A, and the concept is that no matter where you are, you're actually at point A. So when you tee off on a golf hole, you have a fairway. And then you have rough on both sides of the fairway, usually. If it's a shorter hole, maybe it's it's not a longer hole, but anyway. But but one of the things about golf is when you hit the ball and it lands, wherever it lands, you have to play it. So if it's a good shot, then you have to play it from there, no matter how it lands. If it falls in the rough, it's it's you know, it could you could hit the ball over here in the rough. That would be not as good, but you, you have to play it wherever it is. If you hit it in the in the creek or the lake, then you have to drop it out and hit it again with a stroke penalty. If you hit it in a sand trap, you know, then it's it's a it's a hazard. And you, you but the, the point is you keep hitting it from wherever it is until you reach your point B. So the problem is people get in their heads, they get and we start thinking about all the things that we did in the past. So what Susie said was, you hit the ball here, that's the, that's you're at point A here, then you're at point A, that seems like, well, point B is up here, then you're still at point A. Then you hit it again, maybe you hit it in the trap, well, that's your another point A. Then you hit it in the hole, or hit it on the green, that's another point A, you put it, you finally get it in the hole. And guess what? Then you got to go play another hole, so you're back at point A. It's the same with... It's rarely a straight shot from point A to point B. Usually, you got to hit a lot of point A's, and you zig, and you zag, and eventually, and then what happens is you set a new goal, which is your new point B, which makes this one, guess what? Point A again. So... In her book, she basically says you're always moving from point A to point A. Now, that's a very helpful concept because what that says is learn from the past, but don't dwell in the past. The past is put behind you. You can only deal with the present. So remember when you're playing golf or in business that you're moving from point A to point A. You're always looking for point A. It doesn't mean not don't set your goals. It means set your goals at point B. But then once you get there, understand that you've got to continue growing. You've got to always be at point A. I hope this has been useful for you. Remember, play the game of life from point A. Play in the present. And until next time, all the best.